we will take an inexpensive 5 megapixel digital camera, we will remove the lens to reveal the digital imager chip which has a glass protective cover. We will take our rotifer sample and place a drop of it right on top of the glass protective cover and place a blue LED a few centimeters above it creating a point source illuminating the rotifers creating a shadow on the digital imager chip. What we have here is a prototype of the lensless stereo microscope. Inside of this plastic hollow tube in the bottom we have a video imager sensor. The imager sensor sends its signal to this synchronization box which determines if it's an even or an odd field. If it's an even field it turns on a blue LED which shines its light through this fiber optic to the left side. If it's an odd field, it turns on the other LED illuminating the right fiber optic. In this way we get alternating illumination from the right or left side causing disparity in the image of the video sensor. Now the video is going to go to a CRT monitor and it'll show both frames which will make it look like they're blinking fast. But if we view them with these shutter glasses, what this will do is it'll let us see with our left eye the image that occurs when the left fiber optic is illuminating the subject. And when the right eye is open, it'll let us see what's being illuminated when the right fiber optic is illuminated. This will create a 3D image. The stereo pairs are digitized and analyzed by a computer program that calculates their locations and displays their trajectories in this three-dimensional plot.